okay we're gonna try something different today we've got these lures that my wife got me it's uh it's an umbrella rig it's by 96ers lures okay so here's the umbrella rig we're right by fort sewell we're gonna deploy this and see what we catch it's a little choppy so i can't get too close to the rocks but this is a great place to troll the umbrella rig I think I caught something. Let's see. I'm going to have to get away from the rocks too dangerous here and I'll release this fish a little bit deeper in a little bit deeper water good <laughs> okay, that was my first uh, striped bass caught on the umbrella rig. I'm glad I tried it out today. It looks like there's some fish in the area, so I'm going to try it for a little bit more and just try to troll back and forth by these rocks. I see a bunch of birds diving into the water. It looks like there might be a feeding. And the feeding's where the bigger fish are attacking the bait fish, like mackerel or smaller fish and they're forcing them to the top of the water. That allows these birds to see the fish break the surface and uh, the fish start to circle around the area of the feeding. What that does for me is it marks where there's a lot of fish. So I'm gonna take this umbrella rig and uh, try to drive right over that feeding and see what I catch. Okay, this was the side of the feeding. There's still a few birds diving into the water, but I might be able to catch a few fish that have sort of lingered or they might be a little deeper in the water right now we don't know but it's a good guess that there are fish in the area so here's where I'll, where I'll troll for a bit okay looks like I caught something paddle out to the, to the safe water to be able to avoid getting close to the rocks but my main rod is bending right now quite a lot actually Looks like I got two schoolies on it when I look back. Oh, that's the one thing about these feedings is you end up catching smaller stripers sometimes, but that's okay. It's still a lot of fun. And with the umbrella rig, you've got more baits attached to the same line. And uh, now I've got to go and release these two fish. Okay, that was crazy. These, these hooks, there's so many hooks. We're going to try to see if we can get the, the lures a little closer to the bottom where the big fish might be. Okay, no way. This is my fourth striper. Let's see what I can't hot. It's another schoolie. Oh, these umbrella rigs are just unfair with these schoolies. This is awesome. I'm just going to try to use this fish grip a bit more. 
I don't want to hurt them too much. Wow! Four stripers on one trip. So I'm heading home now. That was a lot of fun. I haven't caught four stripers like that on one kayak fishing trip all within you know the last uh, 40 minutes or so I've, I've caught uh, a three stripers together on a sabiki rig I've actually done that twice but uh, this was fun this umbrella rig allows the lures to swim through the water like a small school of fish and allows you to cover a lot of distance, which is great. But when you did catch a fish, I was able to catch two fish at the same time, which made it a little difficult. And also, I caught a lot of um, seaweed and ended up hitting the bottom a couple times. But anyway, it's really fun. I've never used the umbrella rig before and that was a lot of fun. Thanks a lot.